Developing a pursuit strategy. As a business development specialist, I understand the investment of time and effort that is required to run a winning pursuit. This needs to be a considered and informed decision before the pursuit is given the go ahead. With that in mind, the first step is to understand what you and your pursuit team know about the pursuit and more importantly, what you do not know. There'll be a resulting action plan to fill these knowledge gaps so you can make an informed decision whether to invest in developing a winning pursuit strategy or not. Hello, I am Sharon Baker and I'm a business development specialist with Sharon Baker & Co. We help businesses and their teams to increase sales by developing business development skills, processes and tools. It is my pleasure to take you through three key steps that based on my experience will help you develop an effective pursuit strategy. The three steps are, step one, define the project, step two, list project issues, and step three, identify client drivers. Step one is to define the project, and this is where you gather your pursuit team and other colleagues that may have knowledge about the pursuit and about the client. I find uh, that this meeting may take an hour if well facilitated and your aim is to collect as much information from people's experiences and expertise as possible. By defining the project, you ensure that the whole team is on the same page right from the start. So in defining the project, the inf information you're looking for from them would include things like who is the actual client? What is the scope of the project? What is the value? What is the award date? What are the delivery phases? How long to deliver the project? And who are the decision makers and influencers? More importantly, do we know these decision makers, makers and influencers and do they know us? Who in your business has the specific contacts? Now, you should have a clear picture of what you know about the project and more importantly, what you do not know. You'll develop an action list to fill the information gaps and allocate owners and timeframes to fill those. Step two is about identifying the project issues. You should have collected enough expertise uh, in the meeting to understand the project issues and the risks. These issues and risks could include things like timing of delivery, methodology of delivery, cost issues, specific expertise required, compliance issues, health and safety risks, regulatory risks, resourcing for the project. Once again, uh, the collective information from the team should give you a good overview of the project issues and risks, and more importantly, a list of actions to fill these information gaps. Step three is about understanding the client drivers for this project. Drivers could typically include things like budget cycles, political cycles, a current imperative to start the project. It might be relevant to the decision maker or the key influencer. In my experience, this is where the actions require holding a series of client and stakeholder meetings. The team is looking to confirm or discount or uncover what you believe are the client drivers. The information you gather from these meetings will significantly impact four key pieces of information that need to be constantly evaluated and tested with your client. Who is the actual client? What is the scope? What is the award date? What is the value of the project? These four pieces of information can change at any time and impact your pursuit strategy. In summary, to develop a pursuit strategy, you need to first put in the groundwork to fully define the project, to understand the project issues and to know the client issues. 
I can help you with these three steps by facilitating the session to define the project, identify the issues and understanding the client drivers. I can work with you on an action plan to fill these information gaps. And finally, I can help prepare you and the team for the next step of developing your winning strategy. In closing, I'll be developing further vlogs on developing a winning pursuit strategy, planning client meetings and selecting pursuit teams. If you would like to learn more about developing pursuit strategy or any, have any needs for business development support, please email me on sharon at sharonbakerco.com.au. You can also go to my website on www.sharonbakerco.com.au. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.